Hey, Connie. Hey, Connie. I just wanted to apologize for my rude behavior. All right. And I just want, as I said in the comment, I just want peace between us. And in many of the things you say, you are correct, because I just got out of the hospital now, and it was very little evidence of any sort of uh, raging plague. Yeah, and I, I also want to, I also want to apologize, apologize for the way I acted. I mean, I hope, I hope let's there's nothing. Behind us yeah, and yeah. Let's just um, agree to, you know, be on good terms. And a lot of the stuff you're saying is yes, the government is conditioning us to behave a certain way. We're being herded into online shopping, online living. They're gonna screw up the movie theaters. They're gonna screw up sports. They're gonna have everybody at home like little scared mice. Yeah. And. Um, all the dogs are going to be gone. All the freedom will be gone. We're going to be tracked like little animals, like mm -hmm. presto cards and debit cards and online shopping and basic income. You're right on so many levels. Yeah. You're right. And like I said, I, I saw the emerge was just like weird. Just mm -hmm. weird. Mm -hmm. It didn't seem like a place that was going through a plague. And the behavior, like uh, very sloppy medical procedures and sanitary given that they say, oh, we're in a quake. They weren't following sanitary rules. Mm -hmm. So I just want peace, and like I said, I, I just feel the whole thing is fishy, very, very fishy what's going on and what they're going to be doing to us. Mm -hmm. And this vaccine, I don't know if it's any good or not. I don't know. Well, I truly cannot say what I know, because the only thing I... No, as I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, I heard, and I, my, my friend Brennis, who you may see in my podcast videos, he's, he has a book, and it actually says what's in it. Um, it's, uh, there's human urine, there's uh, fecal, uh, what, what was it again, hon? Ab abortions, and there was a, there's a whole bunch of crap in it. It's like, what the hell? Yeah. Out fear. Um, I was watching the TV in the waiting room while I was getting treatment, and all it was was COVID, COVID, COVID on yep. X24 News. That's all. And we're just hearing, you know, no movies, no plays, no culture, no restaurants, no nothing. Uh, it's all fear. That's all it is. It's, it's all fear tactic. And I, yeah, it's, it's all fear tactic. And even I, I heard that even if you go to Ticketmaster, you need, uh, they need to scan you to see if you have COVID. I mean, like, what's that about? That's eerie. I mean, that's disgusting. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes. The mark of the beast, yeah. Yes. And I think that some biblical stuff may be true. Mm -hmm. Because right now I can't get on a bus unless I have a Presto and it tracks everywhere I go. Everything we do, if I shop online, everything is tracked. Everything I'm doing is tracked. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? There's nothing of mine that is private. I can't have a garage sale right now or a yard sale. Yeah. Like we used to enjoy back in the day. Everything is going to be tracked and they'll know that Connie likes to eat tomatoes or Connie likes to hunt. You know, they're going to know everything about me mm -hmm. and you and everyone else. And they might use that to our advantage or something. I don't know. Scary times we're living. COVID test on me and it really hurts. And I didn't go for another because I don't know what the heck it is. Yeah. I told my grandson that a wicked witch put a space alien up my nose. <laughs> well, I, I know really I've did. I've heard many stories. I mean, like uh, my I mean uh, my girlfriend's friend told me that when when they go up uh, when they do the test, it touches a piece of your brain. And that, that's a fucking, heard, that's fucking that's disgusting. I said I will never have it done again because I don't think it's sanitary. Well, it, it's, it, it, it touches your brain and, and uh, once they get your DNA, uh, who's to say that they could uh, frame you for whatever? Or yeah, that's, like that's I've what... already had my DNA sequenced at yeah. and me, which was stupid. And they were saying, oh, you're nearly 3% Neanderthal. Yeah. And I'm like, 
Neanderthal. Like, who wants to know that shit? Yeah. If I'm Neanderthal or I'm, I could get certain illnesses or whatever, you know? And by the way, I've been drinking a lot of tonic water since this began. Mm-hmm. Do you know what tonic water is? Not really. It has quinine in it. Uh. It's what people used to use in the old days for yeah. fevers. You know, and um, I hate to say it, but if there's a horrible illness, the only thing that really works is that that illness plows through the population and those that are able to live, live. And then they pass on their immunity to their descendants. Mm -hmm. That's probably healthier than a vaccine. Mm -hmm. And I had the flu shot this year, and it was um, it was not bad, but I had the pneumonia vax because they said, oh, you're a senior now, so have a pneumonia shot. And it hurt like hell for a whole day. My arm, I couldn't even move it. Yeah, so I know I my... I can imagine what was in it, that it caused that. I know my girlfriend took the vax, uh, the the flu shot, and she said she was tired, and she her I arm was hurting. You told me you took the flu it shot. It hurt like hell oh, in the hospital, and my whole arm was swollen. Oh, it's something. And a few years yeah. ago, I got the flu shot, and I still got influenza B and was sick for three weeks. It yeah. didn't make a difference. I always get sick every time I take those things, so that's why when they when they ask me in my house uh, where I live, uh, are you taking it? I'm like, fuck that, no way. And I also want to say something that's going to sound like conspiracy theory. I think they want to kill off a lot of seniors. Yes. Yes, that's what, that's what uh, a lot of our protesters are saying in the videos. And um, that's what my because friend Brendan is saying. Their treatments now. If you've got a cancer or anything that needs like surgery operations, you're out of luck. Yep. And by the way, my ex-husband, the father of my kids, he's in a nursing home with Parkinson's, and he needs surgery for kidney stones. He can't get it because it's not available because of COVID. So he's going to probably die a lot sooner and in agony. Holy shit. Sorry to hear you're that. You're trying to call the people. You ever heard of the Georgia Guides, uh, uh, Guidestones? No. Agenda 21? Agenda 21? I know the Guidestones. That's where you have to go your belly button. Let's take it out. Are you still there, Emmanuel? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, and I, I can't do that, man. I have to go outside. I have to live my life. I like if I if I have to be inside my house, maybe one or two days. But like to for the government and to I'll tell me what I can and can't do, fucking I pisses me off. Hospital tonight because my diabetes is bad. It's bad because I've been eating crap since I've been in the lockdown, and also I'm not exercising. I'm not out in the world, so it's yeah. affected my health. And that, a lot of people are in that boat where our healths are being affected by this lockdown. Instead of being out in the world, we're stuck. Mm -hmm. Watching crap on, well, TV is okay, but, you know, watching garbage, eating garbage, being frightened. Yeah. And when you're frightened, it, re it uh, releases something in the body called cortisol, which is harmful if it's done on sustained levels. Mm -hmm. Like you can be frightened and react to it, you know, a bit, but not constantly, and that's what they've got, constant fear. Pulse 24 is nothing but fear. Yeah, I stopped watching CP24, and it's, it's all fucking bullshit. Bullshit, like go to my yeah. friends and all this, you big fat fart, you know, I don't care. <laughs> no, people on OW and OD, they need help, why don't you give it to them? Yeah, but this guy doesn't give a fuck. No, he's, he's, a, he's a piece of shit. Yeah. He says he's for the people and fuck off. I don't trust any of them. I hate them. I mean, like fucking. I don't know if you heard, but uh, Tori Tori announced that he, it, if we go to restaurants or if we eat or whatever, uh, we have to uh, take a bite out of our food and then put our mask on, chew, and then pull back uh, the ma pull down the mask and then. Rinse and repeat. It's fucking ridiculous. 
I don't know if... Yeah, I hate him, man. I I don't know if you watch Rebel. I watch a lot of Rebel News, and they they tell the stuff that uh, CP24 um, doesn't uh, announce. And I like that, but you know, it's, it, this is so ridiculous. This is sick. This is sick that that this is how we're living right now. And what pisses me off. Exactly. Why are so? Uh, my what pisses me off is why why are people allowed at a a Walmart or a Costco, but like that barbecue place? Oh no, 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 no. That's 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 bad news. I, that pisses yeah, me off. That's- Yeah. Stuff, you know? And uh, like I said, I want to go back to fresh eating because I've been eating crap, absolute crap, mm-hmm. since this began, you know? And um, I've got to start cooking better for Chris because it's not good for him either, but we need more healthy meals. And like I got read the riot act tonight about my health, and I've got to get out. And I almost feel like saying, okay, the hell with it. I'm going over to my daughter's. Yes, she's a teacher. And, you know, yes, they could possibly have COVID, but I'm sick of living like this because this is no life. This is not the way to live. Yeah, I, I know. I, I hear you completely. This is. Uh... And I want to live what's left of my life on earth like a happy human being. Mm-hmm. Being grandchildren, walking in the park, going to a Tim Hortons, going to my favorite restaurant, you know, um, and eating healthy, of course, but. Yeah. Starting and they, look at all the people who are going to be out of work, like cooks and waiters and waitresses and cleaners. Like they don't think they're screwing the public. They, they don't, like, again, they they don't give two shits about us. I mean, and I, I, what pisses me off uh, was last Saturday they they had the audacity to put on the news. Happy Small Business Day. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Mom, Pa is going out of business, but Walmart and all this. No, no, it's still up open. It's like, fuck off. Yeah. Should have been in business for 30 or 40 years. Mm-hmm. And you know what they want to do to Rogers Center? Yeah, they want to tear that down. Condos. Oh, are you? Oh my God! I heard that they wanted to uh, tear it down and make a new stadium. No, they want to do condos and like oh. uh, shopping complex. I, that's what I read on one site. Oh. Think, God, that's going to look so ugly down there. I mean, like, that, that's a tourist attraction area. And then they want to have a stadium nearby. I mean, oh, if I was somebody living in a condo, I would not want to live next to a stadium. I would want to be, have some peace. Yeah, yeah, especially, like, if it's a big event, you you won't get any sleep. You'll hear that, like, a big crowd of whatever. It's like, oh, fuck, man. Oh, man. You know, the sports are going to have to come back. I mean, they have to, you know, be a little bit um, restricted, but they have to come back in movies because the movie theaters have taken a 90% dive in their income. Well, yeah, the the, the movie theaters, I hear they're, co- they're close to becoming bankrupt. All of this, uh, uh, not only the movie theaters, but uh, the theaters. Or, yeah. Uh, Netflix or whatever. And the, everything is all Amazon. Uh, how much is that? HBO, like, cause I I know the new Wonder Woman's coming out, and I want to watch that, but I don't know. Do you have to pay? Do you have to pre-order? Like, what what's the deal? Oh, uh, speaking yeah, about Amazon, I, I hear. My son picked up the um, D for me, and he just installed it for me. Prime, because Chris and I have been watching Prime and Netflix. Yeah. But, I mean, his movies are gone now. Like, I used to go to that one down at Paramount at Nova Scotia near there. Yeah. And it's all gone. No more popcorn, no more nothing. It's all gone. 
like and big musicals are gone theater is gone our library you can't even get into barely like everything is now oh we can give you all these services online at the library Mm -hmm. my, my girlfriend my girlfriend said she went to the library and uh, you couldn't even touch the books and if if you wanted the book they would they would have to get it for you and then put it in your own bag it's like what is that all about well, fuck man yeah I know like you can't like I used to go to the thing to you know photocopy stuff you know or do something and now it's just like gone and oh yeah the food courts at our mall when at the height of this there was nowhere for you to sit so if you ordered something to eat there was no way you could sit down with a meal how fun is that yeah, not only that but i i went to i, I it's somewhere in my protest video but uh, i remember one of the guys was saying no one of the girls was saying that um because of this you can't sit down and feed uh, or eat whatever one mother had to, to breastfeed her own child in the washroom. That's what they suggested. I'm like, are you fucking yeah, kidding me? I don't know if you've been up to Edlington Square, but a lot of seniors go here and they like to walk and then they sit and they like to walk, have coffee and sit. And they can't do that now. And that's one of the things that keeps them fit, going in the mall yeah. and walking. Mm -hmm. And how can we buy a pair of shoes? Oh, we have to buy it online. Well, what what about well, those people Walmart, who don't do online? I don't do online. Yeah, I'm old fashioned. I don't do do and stuff I online. Costco, I went to Costco and that place. They weren't doing any distancing. It was all bumper to bumper in there. Wow. See. Mainly spelling. Everybody's freaking out over toilet paper. Yeah, I just find it funny that uh, the end of the world is coming and we gotta quickly run and get toilet paper. We're safe. Well, I, it's, watch that video. it's fucking Australian humor. Women, <laughs> watch that video. Australian women uh, beat each other up over toilet paper. Get that video because it's something to see. They're oh women, my think, god. Yeah, three women who are a little bit hefty. I'm hefty myself. We start beating each other and then finally the manager of the store came and said, "You get nothing." Oh my gosh. Rolling over toilet paper. I saw somebody <laughs> stealing raisins over the metro, taking them out the, uh, the box and the bag and stuffing them in their coat. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry I'm not laughing at you, but I'm just I laughing how stupid this all is. Yeah. And I have Frank's hot sauce here, and I use it on meat if I don't think the meat is 100%, because I got bad food poisoning at McDonald's last year. Holy fuck. Yeah. I ate a breakfast sandwich that the dog rejected, and if the dog rejects something, you don't eat it. I did, and I was on a morphine drip within an hour. And I'll tell you, I was there tonight at East General, Michael Garron Hospital, and I didn't see any evidence of a plague. I saw a lot of bull crap happening, a lot of people suffering in pain while they weren't being attended to. Oh, and they had everybody God. sitting in the lobby with their IVs and stuff, but it was dirty and filthy. Oh. Like, I mean, back in the day, nurses were actually clean and tidy. You didn't have to worry. Now you do. My gosh. I mean, we're in a hell of a world, and I have to do what the doctor said, which is try to get out and walk and eat the nice foods that, you know, aren't, well, I have no carbs, you know, mainly veggies and meat, protein, and that's it. And I got to have no pop, no chips, nothing. Mm-hmm. It'll be a very lackluster life, and I like going to hike with my grandkids. We can't do that because of COVID. Like, I'm sick of this effing year. I'm sick of it. Oh, my God, that's bad. I'm sick of the whole damn year. It sucks balls. Sorry for being vulgar in front of that's, you. That's does. fine. That's actually how me and Chris talk. We, we swear and whatever. But, uh, yeah, I hear you. I mean, like, everyone's starting to get fed up. Um, I'm glad people are starting to wake up. But it's sad because I can't I can't go to the to the stores or I can't go to TTC without getting a dirty look. So I have to record everything now. This is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, 
I mean, yesterday I was waiting I for... I love Harvey's. Well, doctors told me i got to behave. But what I'm saying is all the things I used to do, like I used to go to Maine and Danforth. There used to be a shawarma. There is a shawarma place on the corner that I completely love. And uh, there was so many wonderful things to do out in the city. And yeah. now everything, like I love to ride on the Queen car. I used to love the Gerard car. Love to watch the city. I used to go down to the Riverdale Park just to sit there, drink a cup of coffee, just relax. And now the whole city is just in fear about plague. Yeah. So I went through SARS quarantine when I was married to my husband, and we were supposedly in quarantine for three weeks. And they said, "Oh, I said, how do we get our groceries?" And they go, "That's not our problem. You got to stay in quarantine." But. So my hus- and my husband hired some drunk to uh, bring the beer and bring the food, and that was it. Oh wow. And then he would slip out to the bar. He and he said, "It's all a bunch of shit." Mm-hmm. And he got sick, and we kept calling the number and calling, and nobody answered. So he took a bottle of liquor and a whole bunch of Percocet and went to sleep, and that was it. He was well in a few days. Oh. And I'll tell you another thing they don't tell you. Tobacco cleans the lungs. Really? If you are sick. Okay, I'm not talking about regular smoking. If you are sick... Tobacco cleans your lungs. You're using it just for medicine. You're not using it like a smoker. Yeah. That I do not know. Yeah, it cleans the lungs. Just Hmm. because people use it every day, you know, which they shouldn't, you know, but if you're sick, use it. And like liquor is a curative too. Liquor will make you better. So a lot of the old time remedies work, but I'm sad because we've lost a cat here. We've lost a bunny. You know, it's been just brutally sad lately. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm sick of this damn thing. I used to go down to Dundas Square because I'd buy some stuff I liked. We are collectors, just you collect one thing, I collect the other. And uh, I used to go down to Dundas Square, and now I just don't go anywhere. Everything is just mm-hmm. stopple. And I miss like, I miss going to the movies. I, I used to love going there, but now since this whole bullshit and fear tactic, it's just and ridiculous. That movie theater there, that movie theater there that's at Dundas and Young. I remember going to see a zombie movie there called Dead Snow. It was a lot of fun. And That's watching a zombie movie on a big screen is fun. I don't think I've so, heard that I mean, one. All the pleasures of life, like Chris was given all this um, tickets for musicals and sports and, you know, like now nothing. Yeah. No basketball, no hockey, no football. And they claim, oh, this player has COVID, that player has COVID. Like, I don't know what's true or not. Nothing. Mm-hmm. And somebody says they've got it. I don't know. Like last March, they had me on an antibiotic because I had a bad lung infection. Who knows what I had? So, I mean, I'm not, we're not, you know, fancy people who are rich and are, you know, can go hide somewhere. And like I said, the guy that owns Amazon is making more money. Walmart is dumping shares because they know they're going to get edged out by Amazon. I heard that now you can buy medicine on Amazon. What's that all about? That's fucking That's fucking bullshit. I mean, that's what my friend Brennan told me. I'm like, now they want your personal information? Like, what meds you take? What this? That's, that's disgusting. No, I take a lot of meds, you know, because I have my problems. Oh, I understand that. But now you can buy your own meds on, on Amazon? It's like, what the fuck? When does it stop? medicines I take, um, you know, I have that, what is it, the points card for Metro, uh, Air Miles or whatever, they know, oh, Connie likes coleslaw, Connie likes this, Connie likes that, you know, they know everything I like, they probably know what Chris likes, they know everything, they know how we take our transit, which caps we use, everything, 
Oh, it's for your convenience, things like Uber Eats and DoorDash. No, it's just to track everything you do. Mm -hmm. So I believe you're correct in many things. About vaccines, I'm on the shelf. Like, I, I don't know. I truly don't know. I don't know what the hell in that, that damn Aquaman movie. Aquaman? Do you like Aquaman? Uh, not really. I'm more of a Spider-Man guy. See, when I was young, I got comics, and um, I used to like, you know, Green Lantern? Yes. And I used to like Aquaman. Did you like the new movie? Um... I didn't watch the new Aquaman. I'm probably going to watch it because I don't like the actress. I'm not very happy with her. Oh, okay. Amber, because I believe she lied about Johnny Depp. Oh, she's talking about Johnny Depp's ex-wife. That was Johnny Depp's ex-wife? Yeah. Who played yeah, as yeah, Aquaman's she, girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah, there's a petition out there for her not to be an Aquaman, too. Oh, yeah, she man. Says, oh, Johnny Depp, beer, Is that, that the red hair girl? Yeah. yeah, she's yeah. kind of blonde, and she, um, I think she just married him for, like, her career, but I don't think she loved him at all, and she made his life a hell, and then she said he hit her. Yeah. And I he ruined, like, he was supposed to be in that Fantastic Beasts movie, and he had to resign, and I don't think he should have. I think he's, I don't think he did anything wrong. I heard something about that, but, like, uh, there was... The, the blonde girl in the beginning of Aquaman, and there was a red hair girl. No, I, she's colored her hair for the movie. Her hair oh. is blonde, but she colored it red to be like Mira, the character. Oh, okay. I think, Chris, you watched Aquaman, the first one with Jason Momoa. You watched it because he watched yeah, it on Netflix. Like, like, uh, there's a petition on there to, you know, get her off of Aquaman 2 because of how she behaved. Wow. Well, I did not know that. Like, I saw Aquaman opening day, and then it's like it was the back of my mind. It's like, oh yeah, Aquaman. It's not Marvel, so yeah. But I liked uh, Green Lantern, and I liked um, oh, what was yeah, that guy? I liked the Green Guy. Yeah. What? And I liked the oh, what is that Hulk guy? The Hulk. The Incredible Hulk. Yeah, he's cool. Oh, I like him. Yeah. And like I said, um, you know, I would like to go out to the movies more, but this has just put us all in a panic mode, and I'd love to go see, like, that Meteor movie, and I'd love to see that on a big screen. Like, we got a new TV here, but it's not a horrendously big screen, but it's better than what we had. Yeah, even, when, even when we were allowed to go see a movie, uh, when before this whole lockdown, I didn't go, I rarely went, so I mean, like, they, they, they took my home away, and it's like, I, I, I always called the movie theater my second home, but it felt awkward, because, you know, they kept saying, we got wear, wear a mask and do all this six feet bullshit, I'm like, it didn't, I didn't feel comfortable, so, and there was not good movies out, too, so I'm like, fuck, man, but there's, uh, there's so many good movies I want to see, I want to see the new uh, James Bond, I want to see Black Widow, uh, I want to see Wonder Woman. It, it sucks. Yeah, I know Chris wants to go to the movies too. He wants to do so many things and go out with his friends and, you know, but it's just this whole thing has just ruined everybody. Yep. He needs to get out more because of his, you know, heart condition. He needs to be out more. Mm-hmm. Like, we're not living healthy at all right now. We're living like caged beasts right now. Mm -hmm. Like Ford can go bugger off to his cottage, we can't. And, and you know, ah, yeah, yeah, and they say uh, sticks. Uh, don't go to your cottage. Don't see your family. But he's he's he could go to his cottage. He could do whatever the hell he wants. That's what pisses me off. Another thing that pisses me off is um, ah, oh, shit. I just had it. Uh, it will come back to me. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, it will come back to me. got sick in the class so he had to be tested and he had to stay home with his dad and um, his mom uh, the minute they got tested she had to stay home from school 
and the other kid had to stay home from school, and it's just like her sick pay uh, has run out already. Do you understand? Because of all this shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so her husband, who has a better, I guess, contract, um, he's taking sick days to look after the kids. But what if people have colds and sniffles all winter? What the hell are they going to do? Mm-hmm. That's time off without money. Especially the holidays. The holidays are coming by. I don't know how these people can live like this. How can they sleep at night? It makes me sick. I'm not saying everybody should crap together. I'm not saying that, but people need to be out in the fresh air. I know, people need to, they can't be inside because not only that, but if you stay inside your house long enough, uh, the, the air in your house is not good. Yes. Uh, I've been doing the same. I've been eating junk food too and all that. I've been I've been uh cooking I'm home meals. Yeah, it's, you know, it's fucking I'm giving I'm giving Chris pop and chips and hostess cupcakes and crap. We've been eating what? You were both eating crap. They're not ho ho's, they're hostess cupcakes. Ho ho is something different. Where here we are arguing over snack food. I mean, that's how <laughs> Remember snowballs? No. What? Okay, you're a kid compared to us. But what I mean is all the fun in life is gone yes. right now. There's no pleasure, there's no nothing, and you can tell anybody you want to tell that my diabetes is bad. I ended up in hospital because of the you know, being indoors, uh, being unhealthy. Yeah. This is what they're trying to do, is get rid of us old folks so they don't have to pay the pension money. Mm-hmm. That's what they want. They want to get rid of, like they gave us 500 last summer, but that's nothing. And they gave 100 to people on LW and LD, but Chris tried to collect it and he couldn't get it, because every time he called, they would never answer. And now they want him to register online about OD and OW to have his, all his info out online in some account. Mm-hmm. You know, like, when is it going to end? It's like Big Brother is watching us. With every, like, every corner is a cam corner. Uh, cam corner, whatever it's called, and we're in a surveillance era where there is no freedom at all. And you don't know who's right or wrong. You don't know who's, you know, telling you uh, the right thing or crap. Mm-hmm. Alex Jones was good, and uh, you ever heard of Alex Jones? You heard of Alex Jones? Yeah, Alex he Jones. was nuts. But he was good while he was, you know, doing stuff. And like I said, um, I want to hear from a podcaster that is sensible and is telling me, you know, information that makes sense. Mm-hmm. I want somebody who's saying, yeah, I went out to these hospitals and I saw them vacant. I saw, you know... I didn't see evidence of much going on, and they say, oh, the ICUs are overwhelmed. Yet how come all these waiting rooms and all these things look like a, you know, a wasteland? There's nothing there. You know, when I went to, I think it was in my time, months, and people were sitting in wheelchairs in agony, and the nurses were just sitting at the nursing station, just, you know, whatever. Yeah, my girlfriend said when she went to the hospital, what? I don't know when, uh, when did you go again? When this thing happened, I would say back in so, May. Uh, back in uh, May, my my girlfriend or fiance went to the hospital, and she said it was uh, it was empty, like it was like a ghost town. But here we are in the fucking news saying, oh, you know, it's all booked and and it's all bullshit. Now they just put you with an IV running 
and uh, ran out in the waiting room. I had to get um, insulin and I had to get um, a bag of fluids. But like I said, COVID has made me healthy, unhealthy, sorry, unhealthy, and you can tell anybody you like. And now I have to go and fight like a hell to restore health and, you know, get myself going because um, I'm not going to let the state kill me. I'm not. I'm going to collect a pension for a few more years. You know, mm-hmm. I'm going to do that little thing. Uh, Chris wants a word, so can I hand him over? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. I'll see ya. Bye. Uh, come on. Hi, how are you doing? Hey, uh, Chris, I'm just letting you know this was being recorded. Yes, I got it that much. All right, I just wanted to double check because I did say in one video. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, one of the word of uh, caution for your uh, future, if you or any of you member of your family get sick, when you go to the hospital with them, only one gets in, the other has to stay out. You can't join them. Oh yeah, I know that. Okay, because tonight, uh, yeah, tonight uh, when I uh, took her, uh, they, they told me I couldn't uh, stick around, and I even asked them straight, what happens if uh, her daughter, uh, you know, drops, you know, drops, and they're like, sorry, she's not allowed either, she's direct blood. Yeah, I, I, I know, like, uh, like before I left respecting, before I left respecting rights, uh, I, I got uh, people, individuals, and, uh, Self-advocates, whatever you want to call them, they they were even telling me they had a hard time with this experience, and it, it's just so ridiculous that we live in a scare tactic world where these fuckheads. Right. Remember, ten years ago, when I uh, or ten years, ten months ago, when I was in the uh, hospital, she was allowed to come in with me. That was just allowed to ten months ago. Wow. And remember how you were? You came to see me? Yeah. That's what, uh, that's not allowed. Hey, not even my work can get to see me if I go in the hospital now. Fuck, man. Do you know where your asshole is? I know April went to the hospital and, uh, and, uh, I was pissed because they, they, they wouldn't let me see her. I, I would say, just, just uh, make up a lie. Just say that's my, uh, my wife in there. I need to go see her. Hey Chris, I'm just wondering, did you want me to edit your part out? Your part did no, I had one. You're I'm still recording. Well that would be obvious. Again. Sorry, sir, I'll overstate the obvious here, buddy. Yeah, just wanted to double check. I wish I think you take a break. I know you're still rolling. Let's get this one right. You need to <laughs> No, I thought so too, but like, I thought you saw my video today. No, I did, I did video, uh, uh, part two is up. Okay, I know that. I haven't got a chance to see it because of the recording. Ah, okay. Recording. Just remember, I'm at her place. Right, and right. And she knows how a computer uh, to play with. Uh, 
Anyways, Chris, I'm going to let you go, buddy. Okay. Hey, I'll talk to you soon. Take Get care. Bye.